Hello, today I am going to show you my evil race defense. This is again the return trap with both dancers having same HP so you cannot isolate any of them. And as you know, I am waiting for another copy of Mirabilis to fix the minus HP or ideally getting plus HP so that I can match everyone for HP. So that will be the perfect scenario for me. But right now I am not complaining too much and uh, as always it works really well. So I am not in, in a rush right now to use a trade fruit on Mirabilis. And again this is something that happens sometimes during the first day. When I was switching the seals for my unit, I swapped Leaf and Bernadetta's positioning and that is not something that I wanted to do. Bernadetta should be in the middle so she provide fortified cavalry for both Leaf and Rolf. And so because of the catapult now, Sarah will use healing assist on Seros because obviously Seros has the highest visible stat. But then this player made a mistake, because now Rolf still has missing HP, so he is the next target. And this is what happens. I think I am really lucky here because I didn't double check before, so I didn't know that Leaf and Bernadetta didn't have a proper positioning, so now I fixed that mistake. And so I was thinking about how, how well Dancing Trap and Healing Trap will age, because you can tell how, a, I mean, if a player understands the mechanism, you can see this. When you position Layla and Plumeria this way, you know this player has no idea what's going to happen. You know that, you can tell. Healing Trap, Dancer Trap is something kind of new, so some players still don't know about this. But as time passes, of course, knowledge will spread and people will start to understand the trick and maybe get used to it. And this is again another example. This player has no idea what's going to happen because otherwise you will never place Altina and Nils over here, never. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why Leaf is the first target of a healing and not Rolf, it's because Leaf is a bonus unit, so he has higher stats when compared to Halloween Rolf. And uh, yeah, this Brunia is strong. She almost got me. One reason also is because of attack speed solo. It's bad for Ivory's defense. Solo is not something you want to use. Uh, I was thinking about ARD's attack speed or oh, attack speed push. But I don't have this folder yet. So I'm still keeping the attack speed solo, which is of course not ideal. And bonus leaf only dealing 6 damage. Wow, only 6. I was surprised, really. But you need a strong blue to kill Leaf reliably anyway, so...
you have to make the proper teams for that. If you see Diolif often in AR defense, and you should be prepared for this because I guess some people definitely pulled on this Love of a King banner because, well, far save is so unfair. And here the same scenario happens. Turn 1 preparation, but again, replace the units in such a way you can tell easily they have no idea what's happening. Gentle Dream is actually good because it allows Bernadetta to teleport through the trees. And some players, of course, may not catch that. And this is something special. I mean, of course we know that the far save is exceedingly unfair. And hopefully we will get a counter to this, to this kill. But there's something odd when I saw the replay first time. Because of what happened to my Halloween Rove. One shot. But how is that possible? It never happened before. Then I checked the weapon. I saw this. Cavalry effectiveness. But why? I think there's only one possible interpretation to this. These players dislike Kevline. I think this is the only one possible interpretation. So you can guess Leaf dies. And next one is Bernadetta. I can get away here. I could get away here with one death on my opponent side and that is because of one thing far safe cannot protect against melee units as you can see gentle dream ground orders effect is very deceptive it's been a very very long time since any of my defense has been defeated by a true genuine well executed guild force and this is one of these not something like a duoline plus three dancers and when i saw this i was thinking it was obviously a gamble it was gambling but when i checked the other units assist i saw this and that is interesting because now it's not so much like a gambling if this trap wasn't real my guess is that Regin is ready to smite out Tina and get the real ball trap here so Ephraim will still attack Leaf with his weapon and there is of course a catapult destroying my duo's hindrance this play is only possible because we know so so unfair those duo units can be. Two refreshes in one single unit, that's too much. So you can guess what happens. You can easily waste a unit action thanks to duo puny because she provides an extra action which otherwise would have not been possible. And here, of course, Dragon effectiveness and Cav effectiveness, so it's definitely super effective against my team. So I didn't feel like rematching this player because, like I said, even if it's exceedingly unfair to use um, 
duo puny like this with two refreshes. I feel so bad, but not many players can do this. It's really well executed and well done. So there is also another reason why I didn't want to rematch this player is because this player sent me a friend request. That was quite a surprise. I can see only one interpretation to this. This player actually think my defense is good. So I was kind of happy this way so I accepted the friend request and usually also in the past I have sent maybe two or three friend requests and that was only because I liked the defense of that player. So this is why I interpreted it that way that this player likes my defense. So I didn't want it to, you know, practice mock battle on his defense and then hitting him with a rematch. It's kind of a bad behavior and I don't want to be uh, this kind of player. I lost lift but I got a strong friend on my friend list. So very good player. And if you haven't noticed, by the way, now I'm trying to switch the duo's hindrance placement. And there is a reason for this. I have never talked about this in any of my videos before. Because I wanted to keep it a kind of a secret. I've noticed a lot of people, in fact, almost 100%, they place their fortress in first column. If it's not fortress, it's the escape ladder. That is why I knew the duo's hindrance must be placed in first column. Problem is that it seems that I am not the only one who is placing the duo's hindrance in column 1. And this is not a secret. Someone who is very observative would understand that everyone plays duo's hindrance column 1. So column 1 is not really a safe place for your duo's hindrance for someone who wants to use a catapult to destroy the duo's hindrance and trigger the duo unit's ability they have to place the catapult in column 1 So that was the reason for me to try a different placement location for my Dios Hindrance. And here is another Gale Force. However, this one, I watched it several times and it feels this time it is a gamble. It really feels like it. But well, it worked for this player, so... So whatever. Dragon effectiveness, of course, so... She's dead, and... This, of course... Rolf is very difficult to kill with all of his kit. So probably the last match of his player because he didn't get the pots. So that's why. And here, my guess is that this player probably understand that there is a trap activating turn 1, because otherwise, why would you immediately initiate with Layla turn 1 and have Plumeria doing nothing? Because when you play with Layla, with two dancers, you want the two dancers, well, to dance, and ideally you want Layla to kill two enemies, right? But here you have Plumeria doing nothing, so my guess again is that this player knows he has to do something turn 1. 
and he couldn't get Plumeria danced, dancing someone, I believe, because otherwise you have to destroy these, these chairs. But he, this player didn't even try it, because obviously this column was the only direct path to my defense. So he chose his path, this path. Uh, the problem, however, here is Unity is not active because it's three spaces away from Layla. And because, well, Rare's Unity does not protect. It does not protect against melee weapon, physical weapon. And because I still have the Opioni, you cannot activate the Vantage ability. But yes, this is something interesting if you're using Healing Trap or Dancer Trap, you, you have to watch how the players place every single one of their units because it's a tell as to whether or not they understand uh, what's happening here. And if you are using Winter Bernadetta on your AR defense, please don't use something stupid like Wind Sweep. Use Lance Breaker. It's cheap. It's effective. Everyone uses Brave Actor now, and some of these players use Far Save because you know how unfair Far Save is. But this is why you want to use. Lens Breaker, it is effective against Brave Actor. So that's why I have those three cavalry units. One strong red, one good green destroying the best blue unit in the game, best blue tank in the game, and a colorless who is very difficult to kill. I think that was a perfect trio for my, well, return plus trap. So yeah, in the future, um, I am definitely looking for it, adjusting the defense properly if I feel that fast save is a problem for me, especially this Henriette. That was kind of a surprise, this Henriette with the red tome against cavalry this is something that i didn't it didn't cross my mind before but this is obviously something you can do if you have henry yet obviously using eventually instead of leaf maybe another possible idea is using Infantry Mage, such as Farja, which is good. She's a red, so it's not too weak against Brave Ike. And eventually, melee units with Hot Tempest. Dimitri is not too bad. Legendary Dimitri, or you can use, of course, a red infantry. Strong red infantry with Hot Tempest in this location. That could work really well. But yes, a mixture of range and strong melee is kind of a good answer against farsay otherwise you can use flash the problem is that i want to keep kia staff for obvious reasons of course but if you're willing to use dancer trap or healing trap not involving sarah i think flash is a good is a good idea because the others can hit for free no one can counter attack, no one of his armor units with far save. So yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.